I took my glasses off so there's not like a bad reflection. I am perched. That's good. Well, hello. It is Sunday, September 24th at 6.22 p.m. I have just been packing, which is super exciting because me and Allie, my twin sister, if you guys don't know, are moving into a condo together. And finally, 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 everything is ready. We have our move-in date. And yeah, we ended up waiting a little bit longer because we wanted a pet friendly unit and Allie really wants to get a wiener dog. Moving date is October 13th and I'm so excited. It fell so perfectly because I actually have like a fall break um, for like at the school that I'm working at and I have that um, Thursday the 12th off, Friday the 13th and then that following Monday, oh Friday the 13th. Um, so I'm just so excited and end up working out. I'm like, kind of like sweating right now because I was just trying to pack some things up. So I started packing up some of like my skincare, PR, my desk stuff. So I'll show you guys the organization that I have. So I've worked tomorrow at the school. I work Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I'm also currently in the RN to BSN bridge program at Ohio University. Tomorrow is the first day of week five, which is my last week of gerontology. You guys, my TA is like so tough at grading and she like rips apart my assignments and like my APA and I really struggle on it and she just has a way of making you feel like super, super stupid and she does not like, it has just been, caused me a lot of stress. So I've kind of been struggling. Um, I started um, gerontology the week after. So I started school on a Wednesday as a school nurse and then Monday my gerontology class started. So this is my last week of gerontology and then next Monday I start my leadership class and then that's five weeks and then after leadership I do my community health class and then that goes until December and then I'll have four out of my nine BSN classes done. Tomorrow's staff training where I they have the first like staff meeting and I think they do staff meetings once a month. I don't have to go to them but I have to go to this one because I am training the staff on um, like AED use, AVQs, EpiPens, seizures, choking, diabetes, anaphylaxis, bloodborne pathogens, and yeah, so I want to practice my presentation. All right, you guys, so before we get started into the video, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. So Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals a lot easier by delivering fresh, never frozen, and dietitian approved meals right to your front door. So Factor has a team of gourmet chefs that create meals that use ingredients only with integrity to help us feel our best all day long. As always, I do have a discount code for you guys. So all you guys have to do is go to Factor 
factor75.com, which I'm gonna put right here or click the link down below in the description. And you guys are gonna use my code MADISON50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Again, all you guys have to do is go to factor75.com and use my code MADISON50 to get 50% off your first factor box. This is like perfect for if you're working 12 hour shifts. Like I am so looking forward to being able to have these when I go back to bedside and doing the 12 hour shifts. It's just easy and it just makes you feel good about what you're putting into your body. So the Factor product meals are fresh and never frozen. It just makes it so easy, especially when you do not have time for like lunch. And I feel like lunch is something that is like really hard because normally when we're eating lunch, it's in the middle of the day and we're at work. And for me, it works perfectly because I do not have like a scheduled lunch break. So I eat when I can and just having this, knowing that I can have like fresh healthy food while I'm at work is just so nice. October, get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavored packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. You guys, this is amazing. I just made the green pepper and beef casserole with Parmesan broccoli grits and green beans. Oh my gosh. Like the meat just tastes so good. It has such good flavor. It really does. Mm. Mm hmm I love green peppers and beans. Mm. Do the happy dance, do the happy dance. I am gonna finish off my lunch here, but again, thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. All you guys have to do to get 50% off your first box of Factor is use my code MADISON50 and go to factor75.com or you can click the link down below in my description. I know you guys will love this and it is perfect for my healthcare workers who don't have necessarily time to like prep meals and different things like that. And I know you guys will not be disappointed. I'm like a pretty picky eater. But this is like so amazing. And so it's 9.23 right now and I'm just getting ready for bed. Sorry if you hear weird noise. My fan is on and it's just like about to break I think. So it's been sounding really rough for a while now. I just filled up my emotional support water bottle with lemon water and I washed it. So it's nice and clean for the start of the week. So I normally get up at... 6.50 in the morning or like that's when my first alarm goes off. I have it for 6.50, 6.55, 7, 7.03, and 7.05. So normally I get up at like 6.50. Then I leave between 7.20 and 7.30 depending on if I want to get breakfast or coffee, which I want to stop doing. I want to stop like getting coffee all the time. What I'm going to do after this is I always lay the scrubs out that I'm wearing for the next morning or whatever outfit I'm wearing. Normally, or literally every single day, it's scrub bottoms. And then I decide if I want to do a scrub top with it or like a long sleeve or short sleeve fun t-shirt. It depends what I am feeling for that day. I need to check the weather and see. I think I'm going to wear my blue figs tomorrow because um, I do have that presentation and I just want to look presentable. So hopefully I don't look like... Um, I got hit by a bus by the end of the day, which I probably will because I normally do. I've just been trying to adjust the past couple weeks to everything and figure out this new routine. I've noticed that, and if my family watches this, they're just going to laugh when I say this. I've noticed that I've been waking up earlier on the weekends, uh, but I'll fall back asleep. But naturally, I've been waking up early, like on my own. I'll wake up at like 8 because my body is like... Normally you're up by this time and at work or something, so it is real nice. I have to remind myself, like, yeah, I'm working five days a week, but it's literally only from eight to two, which is amazing. And I don't have the stress of night shift, on call, getting screamed at and belittled by doctors every day. It's just a whole different experience. Like it's not even comparable. And it is a possibility maybe I would possibly go back PRN. Like next summer I'm saying that now. So who knows. But yeah. And I put like so much skincare on. But guys my skin has been so dry. So I'm literally just trying to do the most. We'll pull out our scrubs. I already have my Apple Watch sitting there charging. Socks, sports bra. Literally everything laid out that I need. You guys 
know if you've been watching me it just makes things so much less stressful in the morning and my mornings are really not stressful at least with this job and like when i'm getting ready and it's just it's not but it just makes it just easier to have everything laid out so i'll show you guys kind of what i have going so in this one here i put like kitchen stuff so like maddie's cups knives i put bowels um so yeah i'm just used to writing bowels instead of bowls so i guess that's just like a nurse issue um in here i have a bunch of cups there's some candles at the bottom a label maker like a box honestly this is just honestly it looks random but it's more organized on the bottom over here is like skincare pr perfumes sorry guys moisturizers literally anything you can think of waxing strips a bunch of like just beauty stuff that's not makeup and then here this is stuff that's going to be going up in our loft and i just put my name on it uh so office planners coloring stuff so like color utensils, folders, books, like everything in there. Over here I have like acrylic organizers. This is my work stuff, my bag for tomorrow. I have stuff laid out. This is stuff I want to take into my office. So I'm probably take it like at one of the nights this week when I drop C off at football practice. I haven't taken my makeup out, but my skincare, the stuff I just used is right there. But you know, I'm emptying things out slowly. I took some of the decorations down like that we're up here took stuff down over there so yeah good morning I'm seven exactly i just got up like 10 minutes ago so i'm really tired but i'm gonna change into my scrubs okay i'm gonna try this top on I'm sorry the lighting's weird, but this is my lunch bag, and then I'm gonna take pack my pasta. I light as well. All right, guys. So I just ran in and got my Starbucks. I'm trying to find my little drink. Oh, here it is. From Java Sock. There we go. delicious and then i got a warmed up chocolate croissant it is 7 32 my shift starts at 8 so let's drive on over to the school and get ready for a really awesome fun monday and a fun week Hi guys, so it is 3.56. I got home a little bit ago, so I worked um, about a little over seven hours today. So normally I do six hours. So today was seven because I had the meeting, the staff training meeting. My supervisor, um, I feel like I look discombobulated. My supervisor um, came and she was like, oh, normally like the first time like if it's their first year at the school, they always just have me, like the supervisor, do the training. And so she's like, oh, I'm like so happy that, you know, you're gonna do it. And so she kind of just assisted and it was really nice. We kind of tag team, so I like presented. And then she, when I was talking about like the EpiPen, she would demonstrate stuff like that, the AviQ choking, as well as um, how to properly, you know, like remove your gloves. When you're talking about like bloodborne pathogens, and PPE but it went really well I'm so proud of myself and I told them at first I was like oh like I'm Maddie I think I met most of you guys um just bear with me I'm a little nervous and intimidated because a lot of you guys are my teachers and then they all started laughing um but yeah it was kind of like just a full circle moment and I'm just proud of myself that I did it and it was okay there was a lot of people in the room and it was like warm and I was like sweating what I'm about to do now my sister's gonna be home any minute we're gonna run over to our condo and get some measurements so I will take you guys along and kind of show you 
what's going on now. I don't think it's even like done, like the inside. We've been through ones that are done, but our specific unit we were just in, I think last week or the week before, and it wasn't like done. It's gonna be done October 13th. Really quick guys, Ali's gonna just show you an overview. This is our little condo right now. Okay, so like front door, and then do you wanna open this? This is the oh, yeah. out to the garage. And we have a two and a half car garage. Again, very rough. <laughs> very rough draft. right now. Yeah. We have this nice coat closet. Again, and it'll have like a thing, right? Yeah, a rack. The kitchen, um, and we just put in the stove. What are we waiting for? The, the refrigerator and the dishwasher. And dishwasher, yeah. And the sink. There's no sink. Oh, that would be helpful. We have one of the pantries here. And then this is the main pantry, which is huge. And it'll have shelving. So yeah, kitchen. And then over here is my room. Very nice. The closet here. And they have to put shelving and there'll be lights and everything. Obviously the floor needs to still be put in, but this is my room. Gosh, the kitchen looks so good. It does. Then right in here, I don't think these lights work. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is my bathroom in here, which we have the laundry room. It's going to be in here as well. We've got these pull-out drawers here for like skincare storage. <laughs> They open. Um, Ooh, beautiful shower. shower. <laughs> Ooh, can't wait to get clean in there. I'm super excited about this. It's gonna be storage for all of my products. I cannot wait. We also have another little under the stair storage space where we can put a bunch of stuff. We have the main space here, family room area. And then upstairs we have the loft, which I'll show you guys. But first, Ellie's gonna show you her room, which is the master. Oh, beautiful closet. Oh That's my so gosh, her shelves. closet's gonna be insane. What? What's going on in here? Good question. Wait, I feel like it was more done last time we were here. What is that? What is that? Ew, is it just plastic? I think so, like a protective cover. Show them the view from the backyard. We have our little. Like we have a tiny little baby patio. Um, so upstairs, so we got two bed, two bath, and a loft. So up here, this is gonna be like our glam, get ready room, our um, desk area, and our podcast area. If we eventually start one, another closet here. And it should. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, it looks so big on this camera, Maddie. It look. does. Super huge. It is so nice. And we cannot, I mean, this is really nice. No, the lighting is actually really good too. It is. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful, super high ceilings. We're gonna get a really high Christmas tree. Um, where should we put our Christmas tree? I think we should put it right here. What do you think? Yeah, anyway, here it is. So I kind of just hung out in bed when I got home. I have my scrubs laid out for tomorrow. I think I'm gonna wear the red fig bottoms and then just a blue long sleeve. Good morning guys, it is 7.15 in the morning and I'm tired. This is the outfit. Sorry, I have all these boxes here. Super cute, I'm probably gonna do a jacket too. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Well, I wasn't going to do it, but I did it, and I got Starbucks. 7.47. It is Tuesday, September 26th. I'm about to go in. You and your friends, you know how I spend in H-O-U-S-C-O-N. I get too crazy, had a little bad enough. We stay good friends, we get too crazy. All I know is that when this cup ends, the next one begins. My babe, you know me. You a little post so baby, you a little 48 baby, got a little candy in a pocket, she gon' take off like a, you already know, dirty 
Beat up a couple I'm on the north side. Text you, but I know you probably caught side. No, I gotta come and check the whole man, baby. Hold tight. I just touch the city with the cheap blocks. Hello, guys. It is 5.20 p.m. Um, Today was kind of slow in the morning and then I just got super busy and I was starting to go through my kindergarten immunizations and my day just got super crazy and before I knew it, it was the end of the day but today went well um and I just showered Good morning guys, it is Wednesday, September 27th I think and it's 7.41 in the morning Yesterday and today, I have been just so tired, like extra tired, probably every day this week, but um, I did go to bed kind of late because I was up doing schoolwork until like midnight, but I got most of my like immunization records like gone through and everything, which is good for my kindergarten, seventh grade, and new students. Guys, I am the worst, but today, literally, it was just like crazy. It just had a really stressful day and like a stressful situation for a minute. And it kind of gave me that adrenaline rush that I got on labor and delivery, which I haven't had in a minute. Everything's okay, but it was just a little bit, you know, for a minute there, but everyone's okay. But then I was just so busy with just like little things happening on the playground, everything. I was trying to get um, just some final things organized with immunizations, emailing parents. It's just so hard to get stuff done like there because like a kid will come in and then you like obviously have to stop what you're doing so that's why I have to take um, some of it home and work on it which like sucks because I'm not getting paid for it but I guess that's life and that's totally okay I mean I'd much rather spend my time working with the kids than doing paperwork anyway so if I have to come home and do a little bit it's fine we are ending the night with some American Horror Story I am just now watching the first episode and I am very excited so wait good morning guys it is 7 43 it's thursday september 28th and i did not film much last night because i was just trying to get stuff done and running xander around all right so i just tidied up everything my office is clean Good morning, you guys. So it is Monday. Happy Monday. I am doing Barbie vibes today. Um, it is Monday, October. 9th at 7 46 in the morning i am at school it is like a cold rainy fall day today's a super exciting week because not only do we only have three days and then we have off thursday friday and monday so it's kind of considered the kids like fall break which i don't know if we had this when we were little but the main reason is thursday and friday are like conferences for teachers and i'm so lucky that i actually get that thursday friday off as well and friday this friday october 13th my sister and i get the keys to our new condo which is so exciting i literally cannot wait and so we've been like so busy with that and i've been trying to catch up on like editing videos and everything and it's just been a lot trying to adjust to a new job I'm taking my bachelor's classes i just finished my five-week gerontology class which was pretty i ended up getting an a in the class i got an a minus and 92 percent but i was like stressed like my ta was like so tough on the grading and i like really struggled but i'm so happy that i ended up with an a minus and right now i am in my leadership class and this is a five week class as well i'm on week two of my leadership and then starting in november i do my community health class so 
yeah and that's five weeks as well but i'm gonna get ready to go in hopefully it's a good day i feel like the sun might come out a little bit which is nice um but yeah so i just have this really cute pink shirt ellie let me borrow she got from walmart and then i'm just wearing my purple scrub bottoms and i got these from the company or like the online website called all, all heart and the brand is i don't know what the brand is adar i think crazy it's later now um <clears throat> i wanted to film me like cleaning up and stuff i'm gonna get better at showing more of what i can and things like that but i'm still getting into the groove and i was trying to film the rest of me cleaning but i had to stay over a little after because we had a little kindergartner decide to suck on a sharpie so I had to clean the kindergartner up, clear out the mouth, everything, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I was getting ready to leave. And we have like an after school like care program where kids can stay later and stuff, which is sometimes what me and my sister used to do when we were younger. Anyway, so it was like the end of the day, I was getting ready to leave and they're like, hey, what do you do when a kid tries eating a Sharpie? I'm like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> So we figured it out, everything was good, um, but I was like, did it taste good? And they're like, no, and I'm like, okay, so we're not gonna do it again, right? <laughs> but it was okay, I am gonna shower Allie and Xander. If you guys don't know, I feel like I always talk about them, Allie or Allison, it's my twin sister, Xander is my little brother. They had like an Allie and Xander dinner night, they went to Longhorn and they brought me home soup, so I just had a little bit of that. I've been like freezing all day and I really think it's just, they didn't have the heat on in the school yet and it was like like 53 today and like rainy and stuff and i think i don't think i'm getting sick i think i'm just like cold and stuff yeah i just found out that i got a 30 out of 30 on my first discussion post in my leadership class from week one which is awesome so i'm on week two right now and today is monday obviously so i'm probably just going to go through the readings i think i have like four or five chapters to read in my leadership textbook and then like four articles to read so i'll probably like skim through those lots of kids today just getting sick and you know it's that time of year and um some kids are like hungry need a snack like little things like that and i really just get so close with all of them and it's amazing and i have to shake it so i have the cutest kids they have all of these bracelets that i've gotten made for me and they're so cute and i know who each and every single one i know who they're from i don't want to like share the names obviously but like so cute this one says best nurse on it and they just hook me up with all the cute bracelets and the love and so i wear these every day the kids are amazing they've brought like an insane amount of joy to my life already and i've just learned i'm learning so much from them and it's crazy how much you can learn from little kids 
and just like their perspective and stuff is so refreshing and it's just so amazing and i'm just so lucky my room is a little bit crazy because i have like some boxes i have bins our house is kind of being a little bit taken over we have like some of the furniture we have like our bar stools here already our couch is coming saturday morning so i have my scrubs laid out for tomorrow i'm gonna wear my blue fig pants with my blue fig top and then i'm gonna wear this is from shein it's like a little it's a it's a shirt obviously so it's um it's a shirt but i'm gonna wear it okay well, obviously it's a shirt, but I'm going to wear it as an undershirt and it's going to look super cute. I have my work bag, my Madison RN jacket that I got from Etsy, and then we're doing going with the blue vibe. I have some blue wiener dog socks. I have my Apple Watch charging and then all of my cutie little bracelets. I have them there so I can just put them all on together in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday, October 10th. It is 7.34 in the morning. I almost came to work in my slippers. It's a good thing I realized. Um, it's a little bit chilly. Um, can I get a medium hot pumpkin spice latte? Buttered croissant, please. You got it. And that'll be it. I like them here. They always have good vibes. Good vibes. Positive vibes. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we'll have that right out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Oh, we are en route to school. We have the Starbucks. The sun's coming out. God is good. And the line is long at Starbucks now, so I came at a good time because there's only two cars in front of me. To do in the morning is unpack everything. I have a little fish, so I feed him, make sure he's still alive. Um, I wash his tank like every Monday. But I like to pull out my planner, make sure I'm on task on, um, you know, for the week. My exciting moving day. Good morning. It is Wednesday, October 11th at 7.38 in the morning. It's Wednesday, but it's my Friday. Like last night, I wasn't feeling my best, so I was like reading over like my PowerPoint for my leadership week two modules and then I like fell asleep and I only wanted to fall asleep for like 30 minutes but I fell asleep for a little bit and I woke up showered ate a little bit and I was like I just am still not feeling right and I took my temperature I didn't have a fever or anything um and then I did like a little bit of like my discussion and like was reading some like articles and stuff but I literally passed out um, around 9 p.m. Like I like turned everything off at like 8.45. I'm like, I need to like just go back to bed because if I don't go now, I'm gonna feel worse in the morning. Just got my lunch, popcorn chicken, fruit, vegetables, cornbread, delicious. You are so handsome. Good morning. <laughs> what the heck? Kind of in a good mood. I don't, I don't know why. But um, it's 9.46 a.m. It is Thursday, October 12th. And I just got to Target. Yesterday was a good day at work. It was kind of slow in the morning. And then it just got so crazy. I'm telling you guys, once like lunch and recess hits, it's crazy. Like absolutely crazy. I have a couple of friends who for certain reasons or they get like overstimulated or it's like super loud in the lunchroom. So I have some friends who like to spend their lunch with me, which is like amazing. So they'll just kind of, you know, I'll see people, everything, and like they'll be in there and eating their lunch. And so I've gotten close with some kids through that or kids get like hurt and can't go out. So um, one of my little friends um, he decided that he wants to spend his recess in my room so he like brings a friend in and they like play on the computer and stuff which I'm totally fine with um, and yeah sometimes it gets a little crowded in there but that's okay um, but yeah so it went really well I don't think there was like anything crazy kids are just starting to like get sick a lot of like injuries in gym class because they've been playing the fastest game of tag and I'm just like doesn't that just sound like injuries waiting to happen Jack 
mints. They don't like the peppermint. Only the winter green, but... Ooh, they smell good, but yeah. So I just have these, like, in a bag. All right, so we will go into the stuff for the apartment. The shampoo and conditioner. I love the Native Body Wash. Um, lilac and white tea they had sent me one of uh this flavor or scent before it smells so good so i wanted to repurchase it because i finished it all and then i got vanilla and cactus flower you cannot go wrong with some cerave face wash um and then i also got more mouthwash because these are stuff that i'm kind of running out of then i got some booty wipes i hurt like a butt cheek on stick Cotton rounds, ooh, picked up some cotton rounds. Can never have enough of those. Q-tips, had to pick up one of these. I love this so much, one of my faves. Needed more Mighty Patches because my skin just hates me. And then some Press 3D Whites. And I got, I love this material. I don't even know. I wanted to get the Cupcakes and Cashmere brand because that's my favorite, but it was like $50. And I was like, I'm not doing that. So this was on sale for 24 the DKNY and I thought this is super cute for fall I'll probably keep it in my room but it would be cute for a couch as well so it is a lot later now it is 8 47 I did my skincare and I thought I would show you guys I have a couple PR packages that I quickly want to show you guys before I pack them up that just recently came and then I'm gonna take down my stuff on the wall so I thought I'd like take you guys through that because this has been the room that I started Maddie's nursing journey in which is crazy crazy to think that we are no longer going to be filming in this room this is actually gonna be my mom's office pro go sent over some of their protein bars and i already had one and they're really good they sent over a salted caramel crunch one a low sugar chocolate peanut butter crunch and a blueberry coconut crunch i'm not a huge i don't really like coconut so maybe my dad will eat this one but I'm so excited to try these. Um, and I have, I need to get better on getting more protein and stuff and just a healthier routine. It's just so hard, especially if you guys know my nurse friends working night shift, the adjustment, everything. And then now I'm getting more into a routine. So I think it's going to be just so much easier to start taking care of myself better and everything like that and having my own space, me and my sister having her own kitchen everything like that my sister is like amazing at cooking and different recipes and everything like that so loving tan sent over this beautiful huge box and, and they just came out with a new curious it says 97 percent certified organic and naturally derived i don't know if you can see my freaking name is on it like, are you kidding me? They make me feel so special every time. So they sent over their two of their purest tanning mousse, one in medium, one in dark. Their purest face tanning serum, one in medium and one in dark. And then their purest tanning lotion, one in medium and one in dark. Can't wait. So it looks like all of it is made with aloe vera leaf juice, cocoa extract, pawpaw fruit extract, and pomegranate fruit extract. And I'm so excited to try these out. It's that time of year where I'm starting to look like a ghost from YSL Beauty. Super cute. It says it's official. Pumpkin spice season is here. Yes, it is, honey. Rouge candy glaze double care balm. Oh my gosh, this brown color. I'm very interested to see how this looks. Again, anytime I open these, I want to try them, but it, like it would not look good right now. So I do want to try it. I love their packaging. I love YSL Beauty. If little Maddie knew that she was getting PR from YSL Beauty, she would freak out because I literally, I think I have it right here. I remember saving up like a bunch of money in order to just get this lipstick and um, like it's so pretty. I just remember being so excited when I was able to save up my money and get my first YSL lipstick. So the fact that this is even real is like this is my life is crazy. And I'm going to take these pictures down here off of my little armoire. You guys are so sweet and whenever I would show this, you guys would like comment like you are so loved or just like little things. Um, I remember specific people were like, just like your sign says, like it's so true, you're so loved and um, 
I have this here that says you're so loved. I have little bubbles from the Powder Puff Girls and it says I know I can do it, I'm strong. We have a little snail that says I'm doing things at my own pace and that's okay. Um, and then it says somewhere there is a past you overflowing with so much pride looking at how far you've come. And then um, here we have this little thing I found online. It says in his time. It says nevertheless do not let this one fact escape you, beloved that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. And that's 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. And it says, God moves in his timing, not yours. He is never late, but he is usually not early either. He is often the God of the midnight hour. He sometimes waits until the last second before he gives you what you need. Before he intervenes on your behalf, he has to be sure that you are not going to take matters into your own hand and do something out of his perfect timing. You must learn to trust God's timing, but first your self will and your spirit of independence must be broken so that God is free to work his will in your life and circumstances. If you are waiting for something, set aside your own timetable tonight. Trust God and believe that while you are waiting for your breakthrough, he is doing a good work in you for his purpose. It's just so amazing and I'm just so happy that I read through all of those. So um, we're going to take these down. just have to print new ones off. Ugh. This is not going to work. No. I'm going to save these so I know to like print more. right now I just had some leftover salad and a little bit of pasta from yesterday and I just said goodnight to my mom and Milo and I wanted to just close out the vlog the video here sitting where I filmed a lot of videos and Looks crazy. Look at from the candle up here. Yeah, my mom's not happy about that. But, um, yeah, I just am excited and nervous and more so excited for this new chapter. Um, and I'm obviously going to take you guys along through everything. Um, I'll show you guys what my mom does with my room, everything like that. And, yeah, I'm just feeling... I don't know. I don't know. It's like bittersweet. So, yeah, but I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I hope you guys are doing well. And I will be vlogging the entire moving process. And hopefully that will be up soon for you guys. But thank you so much for all your guys' love and support. It is still so crazy to me that we are at over 100,000 subscribers. I. I don't even know like it's just it seems so surreal and it's something that I will forever be so grateful for because I literally would not be here like you guys are what has gotten me here truly and just given me a space where I can share my life and things I've learned along the way and my experiences and I will be forever grateful for that but i'm getting emotional because i'm just in an emotional mood and i'm on my period <laughs> but anyway i love you guys so much um and yeah if you guys have any videos you want to see anything like that let me know and yeah i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye